Viewer discretion is advised. Boom, perfect timing. While driving on 8 Mile Road near Hoover Road, Beatrice Pfizer was pulled over by Warren police officers Brian Heron and Dale Van Horn. The officers claimed that Ms. Pfizer was speeding and changed lanes without signaling. According to Officer Van Horn, they didn't have a precise idea of her speed, but estimated it to be 5 to 15 miles over the 50 mile per hour limit. Officer Van Horn mentioned that Ms. Pfizer's vehicle crossed the yellow dividing line multiple times before Officer Heron initiated the traffic stop. Once Ms. Pfizer is pulled over, Officer Van Horn approached the passenger side, while Officer Heron approached the driver's side of her vehicle. Officer Heron used his flashlight to illuminate the driver's side window and knocked on it twice. Meanwhile, Officer Van Horn opened the front passenger side door and leaned inside the vehicle. Officer Heron would ask Ms. Pfizer to roll down her window and knocked on it for the third time. He then proceeded to open the driver's side door. Although it was difficult to make out her words due to poor audio quality, Ms. Pfizer could be heard speaking to the officers. Officer Heron instructed Ms. Pfizer to exit the vehicle, and she responded by saying, quote, I am. Immediately, Officer Heron tried to pull her out of the vehicle, resulting in a brief struggle. Officer Van Horn intervened, and together they quickly brought her to the ground. Thank you. 
for it was no reason hey, why weren't you cooperating with us come on man how the fuck i wouldn't cooperate with you when you got the door open on the passenger side all thing you had to do is open the door on the driver's side okay come that's, on man that's your, that's your choice i'm you i'm being arrested because of what you guys didn't even have probable cause to even search my damn vehicle <laughs> I was not reckless driving. Okay. I'm just saying what you're Okay, but I'm just saying. Alright. Being arrested for possession of marijuana. Mm-hmm. And being uh, resist and obstruct a police officer. I I doing what? Resist and obstruct a police officer. If you don't fucking stop it, that's some shit you made up. So it's a real charge, man. <laughs> Your partner so happened to open the driver door. It was no existing rest. It wasn't none of that. He fucking pulled me out, pulled me down to the fucking ground. I didn't fight him to fucking arrest me. Period. Okay. Well, good thing we have court system I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys got the camera on. Beatrice Pfizer was charged with a felony count of resisting and obstructing, but pleaded guilty in a deal to a misdemeanor of attempted resisting. On April 25, 2019, Beatrice Pfizer filed a lawsuit in federal court. She claimed that her Fourth Amendment rights were violated through an unreasonable search and seizure, and she also alleged the use of excessive force. Additionally, she accused the city of Warren of constitutional violations, claimed ethnic intimidation, and asserted intentional infliction of emotional distress and gross negligence by the officers. As of June 29, 2022, it appears that the lawsuit was settled and subsequently dismissed with prejudice. This means that Beatrice Pfizer is not able to bring the same charges or claims again in the future. In the end, it appears that neither Officer Brian Heron nor Officer Dale Van Horn faced any disciplinary action for the alleged use of excessive force against Beatrice Pfizer. Ms. Pfizer suffered multiple injuries as a result of the incident, such as a cut inside her lip, bruises on her arm and chest, and shoulder soreness. Her left hand sustained significant damage requiring surgery, and she still experiences nerve damage, which has limited its function. The incident also had a profound effect on her mental and emotional state. She now lives with fear when leaving her house and interacting with police officers, and her overall lifestyle has been significantly changed due to the event.